Hi, Joanna here. I'm a product manager at Teachable and I'm going to walk you through how to create a digital download. So the first step is to go to the digital download link in the left sidebar in the school and then select the button in the top right that says create. So from there you can choose whether you want to create a downloadable file or something that's linked outside external from Teachable. So I'm going to create a downloadable file I'm going to continue. I'll give it a name. This will just be downloadable and description. And then I'm going to select the category that it fits into. So this can be any of the options here. And this allows us to make sure that the product is taxed appropriately. So it's important that you choose one that is accurate to what the content is. And so I'm just going to choose photography, continue and then I'm gonna upload my file. So I'll select a file that I wanna upload. It could be anything here. You can choose to upload from your desktop. You can also choose from Drive, OneDrive. You can also put in an external URL or you can use Unsplash. So let's just get an image here. Great. And then hit continue. I'm going to select the type of um, pricing I want so I can have a one-time purchase and then enter in the amount. Let's say it's going to be $50 one-time payment. And then I can optionally add a subtitle or a description and I can choose if I want to turn on buy now, pay later. For now, I'm just going to hit finish. Great. And then once that product is created, I'm going to hit publish because I want people to be able to access this product. So I'll hit publish here. And that means that people are now actually able to purchase this. And that's going to also make it visible. If I want to choose to hide this digital download, I can do that. I can toggle this off. Additionally, I can set up pages. So if I want to set up a sales page, I can do that here. If I want to add additional pricing, like maybe I want to give people options to pay in installments or something like that, I can do that here. I can add order bumps on the checkout page. I can create coupons for someone to purchase at a discount and I can manage any of the information that I already added. So I'm just gonna go back and show you one more time, but this time I'm going to choose a link so linked products could be anything outside of Teachable. One great thing to use this for is if you're selling templates, for example. So maybe I create templates on Canva or Notion and I wanna be able to sell them on my Teachable school. I have a template. I'm gonna give a description here, select what it is. And in this case, since it would be a template, I'm gonna select template then hit continue, and then I can just put in the URL for my template. In this case, I don't have the URL handy, so I'm just gonna put in a placeholder for now. Canva.com, and I'll add in my unique link later. And then this text here is what's gonna go on the button for that download product. So let's say I want it to just say um, open template hit continue and this one I'm going to offer for free pricing plan free giveaway hit finish great and then again I want to make sure that I publish before I'm done and then that's going to allow people to see it if I want to take a look at what it looks like I can hit preview here and that's all I hope this is helpful. Have a great day.